close to me here, Riley's looking at a Honda Accord. Okay, so I'm just checking if the AC clutch is engaging there. I can see that the AC clutch is engaging when you switch it on. So the problem he's having with this is he's had a persistent DPF issue and it's it's had a DPF cleaner, a mobile DPF cleaner, then it's had the DPF taken off and cleaned. And then they've replaced the whole DPF down here with a new unit and within 200 miles the DPF has got blocked again. So we're getting a message down here about uh, check the system. I've already been doing a few resets. So if we go to the data stream here, what we're looking at is the DPF pressure. It's at 60 millibars. I've already just reset the calculated particle mass which was at 49 grams. This is what I'm trying to do is see if the car will do a regen on its own. Uh, I've just taken it for a test drive and it didn't do a regen. So what I have noticed is if we switch the ignition off. Let's change now. This DPF pressure here was reading at 15 millibars of pressure. Now it's gone to four. What I've done is I've done a particle filter pressure sensor calibration and that has reset the fault on the light as well as resetting the particle mass so you've got different readings of the DPF pressure here so this is the one differential pressure of the DPF this is the one I'm going by we have 14 there on that which is uh, so you should be reading zero with the engine off and if we start it up seems doesn't seem to be consistent because you're getting different readings sometimes you start the engine and it's got 58 sometimes it's got 70 and sometimes it's got 48 but the biggest issue I can notice is when we switch the ignition off it doesn't change and you switch the ignition back on and it jumps down to sort of around 15 HPA there so I'd say we have a faulty DPF pressure sensor and the strange thing about these Hondas is if you read the fault codes it will say that there's no fault code here no trouble codes so some of the things that can stop the DPF from regening, the car is not regening here that's what's happening so some of the things that can stop that is the AC clutch not engaging if that doesn't engage the fan won't come on and that won't allow the region and then the next one like I said is the um, AC clutch apparently that does that on these cars the AC clutch doesn't engage, it won't regen uh, because the fans won't come on without the AC clutch engaging. Now he's had this in another mechanic who's tried to do a force regen and the force regen wouldn't work because uh, the temperature wouldn't increase so they were just failing to, to do the regen. Uh, that again could be for many reasons. I think the issue what I'd like to change at first here is to change this DPF pressure sensor. None of my local factors have got one of these in stock. And how much do you think the local Honda dealer has asked for that? £700. So I'm not going to do a force region, but if you go through the process of setting off a DPF region here for this car, it'll give you some information. Have a little read through that there. So the engine cooling temperature again as well. It's a little bit lower than I'd like to see that. But it does go up to 82 degrees when you start moving. And it'll tell you here. You can attempt to raise the temperature by pressing the accelerator. And you can see here that it says you need to turn the air conditioning switch on to raise the engine load. When the AC clutch is engaged, the DPF regeneration starts. So without the DPF, without the AC clutch engaging, your DPF won't start a regeneration. 
So the AC there is off, you can see. If we engage the AC, we should now see something happen here, I'm expecting, but it doesn't look like the AC is engaging. Press back. Okay, so we've activated the DPF region just because I want to see if the if the car is able to to do a force region if the temperature is able to increase. So the last time I tried to do a force region, he said it couldn't get it above 240 degrees. I'm just going to test that out here, see if it does go above that. Regions at very low revs. So you can see there, it went to 205 degrees or something like that. Now it's just decreasing again. It's only been a couple of minutes. Okay, so we've got a lot of sun glare there, I'm sorry about that, but... So the vehicle is not doing its own passive regen when you drive it, even after I've reset the faults. It won't do a forced regen, which he's, he's already tried elsewhere. I just wanted to see what happens when that's done. Uh, he's replaced the DPF. It's had the DPF cleaned on the car, cleaned off the car. Uh, they've replaced the temperature sensors. So the next thing that can stop a DPF regen is the oil level. If your oil level is too high on Toyotas, the Hondas and Subarus, you shouldn't have more than three quarter level of oil. So we're going to wipe this and check it. So you might think, oh, I haven't really topped up the oil, so I'm not going to have too much oil. But you can get oil dilution and basically some diesel gets into your oil and your oil level can raise. I can see that's above, it's above the max level. Alright, so I'm going to try to take a little bit of oil out of this and then see what happens. So I'm just now pumping out a litre of oil. Okay, we've got that down to about three quarters now, up. Turning the AC on to see if the... I thought I could hear that clicking on earlier, but it doesn't look like it is. Okay, the AC's on and uh, it's not engaging so either the either that's broken or the ac pressure is too low because it needs regassing of course there is a chance that if it is low and it needs regassing that it maybe has got a leak as well so the ac pressure is low just going to put some gas in it and then we'll do a retest Now that we've increased that, the uh, region has just started. You can see the engine fans now are working. So you can see there, as soon as we increased the pressure of the AC system, straight away the forced region just activated on its own. Okay, so we found two problems there. Obviously one problem is the DPF pressure sensor is not reading correctly and the AC clutch doesn't engage until you fill the gas up. Obviously it's got a leak within the gas somewhere though, so that's gonna to need to get sorted. And then we could have it back and go from there. Uh, it's also gonna need a, an oil change as well, but apart from that, we'll see you on the next video.